The National Union of South African Students NUSAS was an important force for liberalism and later radicalism in South African student anti-apartheid politics. Its mottos included non-racialism and non-sexism. Early history NUSAS was founded in 1924 under the guidance of Leo Marquard, at a conference at Gray College by members of the Student Representative Councils of South African Universities. The union was made up mostly of students from English-language South African Universities. Afrikaans-speaking leaders walked out between 1933 and 1936. In 1945 the students from Native College at Fort Hare were admitted as members confirming the commitment to non-racialism after a period of indecision. Early presidents of the organization included Philip Tobias elected in 1948, who presided over the organization's first anti-apartheid campaign. The effort was mounted to resist the racial segregation of South African universities. Ian Robertson, president in 1966, invited Senator Robert Kennedy to address South African students. Other presidents included, John Didcott, John D. Driver, Paul Pretorius, Charles Newpin, Neville Curtis, Glenn Moss and Array Van Heerden. Though the organization stood for non-violence in its opposition to apartheid, some former senior members were associated with the first violent anti-apartheid resistance group, the African Resistance Movement. Despite its liberal resistance to racially separate organizations in the 1960s, its members, and in particular its leadership, supported the breakaway in 1969, of black student leaders, led by Steve Biko and others, to form the South African Students' Organization a black consciousness movement student grouping. <laughs> Turn to radical apartheid opposition politics The SASO breakaway instigated a re-examination of NUSAS political ideology and its role in the struggle against apartheid. In the early 1970s, NUSAS increasingly became informed by Western Marxist ideas. It turned to organizing workers through its Student Wages Commission program with an initial mandate to run an investigation into the wages and working conditions of unskilled black university staff and later to begin organizing workers into trade unions. This work is argued to have sparked the emergence of black trade unionism in South Africa that went on to play a seminal role in opposition to apartheid in the 1980s. Throughout this time many students at so-called white universities who supported the organization because of its anti-apartheid campaigns. Most of the English language universities Witwatersrand, University of Cape Town UCT, Rhodes and University of Natal remained affiliated to NUSAS, which by the mid-1970s was the strongest body of white resistance to apartheid. NUSAS backed the African National Congress ANC in their campaign against repression, and adopted the Freedom Charter and involved its members in non-racial political projects in education, the arts and trade union spheres. This confronted apartheid on the streets and in both the local and international media, infuriating the Nationalist Party government who cracked down on the rising student revolt on several fronts in the mid 1970s. By the early 1990s, South African students began to see the need to consolidate their efforts to finally rid South Africa of racist controls and to refocus on education issues. NUSAS was merged with black controlled student movements into a single non racial progressive student organization, the South African Student Congress, in 1991. On 2 July 1991, NUSAS dissolved during with the conclusion of its 67th Congress. Notable alumni Philip V. Tobias, President, 1948 John Mowbray Didcot, President 1955-1956 Roger Jowell Steve Biko Neville Coleman Margaret H. Marshall, President, 1967 Neville Curtis, President, 1969 Andrew Burain, President, 1980-1981 Tony Caron, 1980-1981 